everybody. I'm sure many of you guys my age or older will probably remember these tapes, which by the way I'm 24. Yeah, VCR tapes. So like back in the days, um, you may remember watching these things over and over again, whether it be personal home videos or movies. If you like the favorite part, you just keep watching it, rewind it, and just watch it over and over again. And you always remember the days when um, videotapes would, you know, the tape would hang up and you'd have a big mess. But basically, where the VCR basically had eat the tape, <laughs> so to say. Um, but let's say if you have some some videos, like let's say videos you shot with a video camera way back in the day, um, whether it be you know, VHS tapes like this or VHSC, and you want to capture them. Let's also say you have an old camcorder that takes the 8mm tapes. Um, like let's see, you know these guys. Now you will need a device that can capture these, or better yet, if you have an old camcorder laying around that actually captures them, captures them, that's even better. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can capture videos like, you know, off of old VCR tapes and things like that and digitalize them. Or if you want to, burn them to a DVD. So basically you're going to need a few things. You're obviously going to need a VCR. Samsung VCR here. It's probably... I'd say 15 years old. It doesn't have a whole lot of hours on it though. I didn't really use it much back in the day. So it's in relatively good shape. It does a good job with you know with capturing video and things like that. It doesn't have a lot of hours on it. You basically you need a, a VCR with either um, or preferably a composite output. And if you look in the back of this VCR, you'll see the, all different outputs. Um, now in this case I have that old Sony Handycam. Um, it's actually plugged into the inputs. You see the um, the white and yellow wire and cables by themselves without the red. That is the inputs for from the Sony camera. Now you can see where the VCR has a composite out, which is a longer yellow looking thing. And we also have your left and right audio channels. You'll need a VCR that offers that. Or if you have a computer with a TV tuner, you can also use the coax out if you'd like. So anyways, um, you'll need that, and you'll need either a desktop computer with a TV tuner or a laptop with an external TV tuner card with composite capture. I personally recommend composite capture, it's just better. It's more clear than um, RF signal over coax. Anyways, for you guys that know the Mid-Tower Deluxe, it has a TV tuner in it, which it's not the TV tuner used for me as center nowadays. It's actually, I don't even use the, the um, coax input on anymore. I just use it really for the composite. So let me go ahead and pull this out a little bit and you can see it better. You can see where the composite cable is actually plugged in. And there's a coax jack right next to it where you can plug in a cable line. So if you would rather have a simple one cable approach for a tuner like this, you can just feed a cable line from the TV output on the VCR to this coax line and you can tune your um, capture software to like channel 3 or channel 4, you know, whichever one your VCR is set to and go that way. But let's say if you're like me and use a composite, you'll need to have your audio hooked up in a different way. Um, now let's see if you don't have a TV tuner like this and you want to either get one if you just sort of do things a little more simple. They do make kits out there that I believe actually plug into a USB port that offer your composite and your audio jacks right there so we can plug up to a VCR. Um, I think this I think sometimes are made like little pigtails that have like a little box in the center. I'm not exactly sure because I haven't really messed with those much, but they do offer those out there. Um, you can buy them. Usually, they're a lot of times they're actually called, I think, v, um, VCR to DVD kits or whatever you want to call it. Um, they offer kits like that. I think I've even seen them at Walmart before, but you can probably get them online for not too much. Um, but you could also install a TV tuner with a, a, a um, composite capture in your desktop computer if you prefer to do so, like that. So, um, in the case 
that I have here, um, which since I'm using composite, you gotta have the audio hooked up to your computer somehow. So basically for that, since the computer has 3.5 millimeter jacks, you gotta have an adapter. Which, this is something you can also get at Walmart for like, probably less than $10. It's a special cable that on one end has the RCA jacks that plug into the VCR. And on the other end, you have the 3.5 millimeter jack, which goes into the blue line in port on the computer. I also use these kinds of cables for hooking up things like my stereo here. You know, this um, stereo receiver is actually hooked up to the computer using the same kind of cable. The 3.5 millimeter to RCA adapter cable. So anyways, um, now that you have an idea of what the what things you need, let's go ahead and talk about the software aspect. Okay, provided that you have the proper hardware setup, here's the software you'll need. You'll need some sort of software that's designed to capture um, from, let's say, a device like a TV tuner or a composite capture. There's a lot of there's a lot of pieces of software out there that can record your screen, record from a webcam or a device. Here we're using debut video capture software. Now, for some of you guys who like to rant on my comments saying, "Why don't you use a screen recorder?" Well, um, you know, I could use this, but I've used it before, and the screen output does not look crystal clear like it does on HD. Now I could probably go out and buy something else, but anyway, back to the topic. Anyways, this software is called Debut Video Capture, and this is actually a rather old version. This is probably from like 2009, 2010. I mean, I've had it for a long time, but it's something you can download for free. And let's just go ahead and look it up, just that way I can say you can get it. And so there it is, debut video capture software is still available. And it enables you to simply record from external devices and things like that. And let's say you, have, you already had the software, let me show you how to set it up. Now in this case, as I mentioned, I'm using composite capture from the VCR. And the audio is being fed into the line in. So if we go on to options, which let me go and set the camera down. That way you guys can get a clear view. Now your software may vary. And if you have one of those kits I mentioned earlier, you probably don't even have to worry about this step. Because it, because it may be configured fresh out of the box. But in the case, you'll need to, you'll need to configure this. So, um, you know, this gives you options for, like for video. You can choose a webcam. You can choose a capture device, which in this case, um, it's the Hapage Win TV 85 video capture. That is the composite input. And this is the format. It's seven, I actually have it set to 720 by 480. Makes it widescreen. Um, yeah. So, anyways, you can go into device settings. We don't even, we don't even have to mess with this. No problems there. Um, you do have to configure this up, though. Because you have options like video tuner in, and you can. Then you can um, probably choose a channel and things like that, but in this case we have it set to composite. I'm going to hit cancel just to make sure it doesn't alter my settings. And for audio, um, in this case we're using line in on the audio controller, which your computer may have a different brand audio controller. This is Realtek High Def Audio. And usually this is set to default sound in, which may be like a microphone or something like that, but you want to change it to line in. And these are actually left as our defaults. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit cancel. Well, actually, I'm going to go to output. Let me show you some things here. Here you can configure where the files go, where you want them stored. How you want the file names to be, you know, the, the format of the file names, that kind of stuff. And you have other things like hotkeys and you know, things like that you can configure here. So, um, in the case that before you start recording, you would want to choose edit output. And, um, which there's not really much you can, you'll need to do here. Um, 
But basically what this does, it actually outputs the video in WMV, which you can change this around. You have AVI, WMV, ASF, MPEG, 3GP, MP4, MOV, FLV. I have it set to WMV, which is Windows Media Video. And you can change some settings here. I believe everything here is actually... I'm not sure if everything here is actually factory or not, you know, default settings. But these are my settings here. <clears throat> which I may go and increase this. Which, you know, the audio the, the audio quality coming off these cassette tapes is not all that great, which it doesn't really matter, I would think. But um you know we'll we'll bump it up to let's see. 128 kilo kilobits will be fine. Something I didn't change in the past. So anyways, now that you have the software configured, I'm going to go and insert a VCR tape. And let's see where we're at on this tape first. Yeah, that was me when I was a kid. <laughs> Look at there. I guess I was four years old, three or four years old in that in that video. Wasn't that so cute? So let's go back to the beginning of the tape and I'll show you how to actually start capturing. This software is really easy to use. Once you configure it, it's, it's really easy to use. So I'm going to um, press record and start playing. And you can see here that it is capturing audio. Now if you want to actually listen in on the device, you can do so. What you could do there is right click on the audio and you can go to recording devices which will take you to here and you're looking at line in you would just right click and say let's do it again properties you can go to listen which there you go get you a better look And you can choose listen to this device, hit apply and we'll have sound. Okay, so um, let's say you get into a part of the tape where there's a break in the videos like in a break of where the recordings are at and you want to stop capturing for the time being you can click the pause button and it'll stop recording but not end the video just yet um, and you can choose record to continue off where you left or if you're finished with the recording you know the capture you can press stop and it will actually create a file a video file so while that's going I'm going to show you example what these turn out to be now you see I have a lot of captures in here. Lots and lots of them. So basically it's, you know, it's just a WMV file. There's me when I was a baby. Me when I was older. I was barely a year old there. I was about two there. So anyways, that's an example of the videos that actually come from these captures.